Investigators we spoke to are saying that online and anonymous tips such as this are helping them locate and eventually catch people in the area who are sexually exploiting children. You know, if we don't know anything is happening or we don't have a, a clue about that, we can't work the cases. According to public records, there are currently 509 registered sex offenders in Augusta. To protect your children and help bring these offenders to justice, you have to speak out. If you see something, say something. Report it, whether it's anonymous, whether it's calling dispatch and file, filing the actual report. We need to know that this type of behavior is happening. The downside of the internet being a good resource to find child sexual predators is it also lets the predators find the children easier. They might meet somebody in a game that they're playing and it might escalate to where they're saying, hey, I'll give you these coins or these tokens if you show me your private parts. To prevent children from becoming victims, child advocacy experts are urging parents to keep tabs on what they're doing online monitor your kids on the internet. We also want to just come in and um, unannounced and look at what our kids are doing, ask to see their screen, see who they're talking to. It is a big concern that I think people are not really aware of. Law enforcement works closely with child advocacy nonprofits to help children in the area recover from this form of abuse. Law enforcement, DFACS, the district attorney's office, they all come to one place and the kid can um, get all the services they need. If you suspect that someone you know is involved with this kind of activity, you can leave an anonymous tip at cybertipline.org or you can call the Missing Child and Exploitation Hotline at 1-800-843-5678. In Augusta, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6.